In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new grapevine die from the John Next Door collection. And we're going to make a card with a beautiful grapevine edge with grapes going all along it. And we're going to be bringing in and using the wine time die as well. There is a separate video showing you how to use this one. So we're just going to be popping that into it because they're designed to work perfectly together. So the die comes in three parts. You get the outer which gives you the edge of the leaves and the frame. You get the inner, which gives you the beautiful cut out sort of grapevine. And you get the die, which gives you the beautiful grapes. But we'll use each one as we're going along and it will make sense as we do it. I'll give you a little sort of sneak peek. That's part of what we're going to be doing. So I'll move the die out of the way. And here I've got two pieces of Crafts to Linen card, one in sort of moss green and one in white. And I'm going to start with the white. I'm going to start with the outer die. Now, what you want to do is you'll see you've got two straight edges with no detail on. They want to be placed evenly along two of the edges at the bottom right hand side. Now, that's to make sure you get enough room in for the leaves. And the pieces here have been cut to six inches by eight inches to give us the right sort of frame length. I'm just going to run that through my die cutting machine. And whilst that's running through, we'll put the next, and explain the next layer. So the next layer, we'll give this a little clean out. So with the next layer, we want to do similar idea. So again, you'll notice that along these, this sort of the bottom right hand, there's a lot less detail. So I want to place this die again along this bottom edge and we can trim up as necessary afterwards so we don't have to tie them together. So that's taped down. I'm going to pull out the white panel and we'll pop in the green panel and cut that. And if you've got an electronic machine like me, that can be cutting whilst you're taking ready for the next piece. So here we go. Just going to pop this die out. And I will show you again a bonus piece that we can get using this piece at the end of this tutorial. So we're going to pop that to one side to use a little bit later. And I'll just give this a little bit of a clean up and take some of the little glue marks and marks from the machine off. I'm using a glue eraser and that's one of the best tools for die cutting you're ever going to have. Because it really does clean card back up. So now we bring in the green piece. And again... You just want to gently ease this out. So you'll find you've got the beautiful little twists that you have on grape vines where the sort of the vine twists out. So just be careful when you're removing that out of the die. And I'm just going to use a pokey tool to get the little pieces out. So here we go. So we'll take these. Just get these little pieces out of here. Always difficult when you're doing it for a video, to be honest. So easy when you're doing it at home or when I'm doing it just for myself. But when I've got a camera overhead, everything seems to take that little bit longer. So we'll just get these bits out. It's worth spending the time just to clear them out and just be a little bit careful, as you can see, with these sort of little twiddly bits. So what we get then is we get this beautiful frame cut in and you'll notice then when I put the white on, I offset that to give me this lovely green frame all the way around and the leaves then seem to come into the frame. So what I would do is give this a little spray with spray glue or give it a light glue with something like glue glaze. I'm going to pop this on at the bottom, get the line right. Again, always a lot easier when you're not trying to do this on camera. So we line this up. And this would be great for scrapbook pages and things like that as well. You can get a really nice look into a scrapbook page. So you can see now we've got that continuing on. And what we would do is we would just trim down the excess green on one side. So I'm just using a pair of scissors. You can use your guillotine just to trim that down and that gives us a perfect frame. What we would then do is to pop foam tape all the way around the four sides. 
And what I would also do is to take a little bit extra foam tape, or you can use the sort of little pads if you've got the little pads, and just put some on these, some of these outside leaves, just to give you that little bit more support when we add this to our back piece. And what this does is it stops it flopping into the middle and gives it a really strong definition between. So that one's a little bit big, Let's chop that one off. That means that one's perfect for there. So what I would do next is to take another piece of white card. Again, same sort of size. And we're just going to take off our tape and we'll pop that on and we'll take off from these little bits as well. So again, just get these off. And this, as I say, gives that extra added support that you sometimes need just to stop things flopping over. And we pop that down again, nice and evenly. And you see there, when I press those on, we get that shadow so you see that they're floating above. And all we would then do, again, take your scissors, tilt them. So we're going under that frame because we can do this and we foam tape just to trim up the card. It's a lot easier to trim it afterwards and try and get it exactly right to start with. And here I've got a little card blank that I've cut to six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I've made this myself using a piece of A3 card folded in half. And we're just going to pop that on. And we get the perfect little frame all around. So there we've got the most beautiful. Let's trim that a little bit raggedy. Let's trim that up a little bit neater. There we go. See there we've got a card goes that way. Or we'll go top fold. And I'm going to do side fold this time. So next we need to do is to cut some of our grapes and you'll see the grapes. You get one, two, three, four, five, six of different sizes going in different directions on it. And although the die looks a little bit strange, I'm just going to run it through the machine and then you'll be able to see what I mean. The die will actually punch through and give you definition on the leaves. So as I take this one out, you'll be able to see here. It punches through and finishes so that we actually get individual grapes from this. And as I said, this will pop you out six in one pass. A lot easier than trying to lose individual pieces, which I always manage to do. So I want to give those a little bit of a 3D effect. So I'm going to bring in here, this is Black Versafine, Onyx Black Versafine, standard stamping ink and a finger dauber and hold it in the air and just add a little bit of black around the edge. And on this purple, when I pop it on the white, you'll hopefully you'll see how much more 3D they look. It takes that flatness off. So we would just do that. I've got some that are already done. And again, you could use this vine and add beautiful flowers on. It looks lovely with the um, clematis flower from the latest from the john next door box kit number six by practical publishing or you could add something of the cosmo or there is coming up soon a sunflower which would look beautiful on here i may have to make one of those after this video so there we go i've got my grapes ready so all i need to do now is i'm going to add my grapes i've got a few more that i've got cut here so we'll bring those in so I'd cut this two or three times. It uses so little card, it really is worth it. So we'll just take these, there we go. Okay. And then really, really simply, I'm going to take a little bit of glue glaze and start adding my grapes in. You can pop these wherever you want, where you see a space. And the reason you've got these beautiful, where you've got the really nice sort of vines, I'll show you, you can actually pop them underneath the vine. So you get a real true 3D effect. It really looks very pretty. And I think it's perfect like this with the grapes and it makes a wonderful sort of masculine card. 
if you're struggling for sort of something a little bit different from men it can't always be about golf and sport and things see there let's have some hanging from that little vine there so i'm just going through and adding my grapes on and my grapes in anywhere i think that they will look right as i say gives it a real sort of three-dimensional look it looks like you've been really really clever with it which um, i never am so i like the i like the dyes to do the work for me rather than me have to do it myself so here we've got again a little bit of a vine holding so let's take a little bit of glue glaze and let's have those grapes coming off that vine and there we go let's flatten that in perfect two more i think and we've got the balance right and again have them coming you know off the frame doesn't matter where they they come to okay, let's have some there just coming off so there we've got our beautiful sort of grape vine frame and to make this into a card you could use words you could put sentiments in you could stamp all sorts i'm going to go with a little wine bottle so i've made this with the wine time die from john next door so i'm going to pop that in there so today is all about you and again i've cut this in the same sort of purple color and from that set I've also cut the little grapevine. You see the leaf is very similar. And a couple of leaves that you get separately. So again, you can colour this all together the same. What I've done here is I've used the same colour card and a little bit of grey of the black ink again, just to darken those leaves. So I'll have a couple of leaves stuck on just to give that whole celebration look to it there we go and i could finish that off that would look really nice with just one more i love things in threes so we'll add just onto there a little set of the grapes and there we go relatively clean and simple but quite interesting and again could go either way but today is all about you and a beautiful wine bottle and grapevine card and so simple to do. And I did say I'd show you with the white. So we have got the white piece here, which is left the waist. So I'm going to take the second die in the set. And this was designed so that you could use it to make a beautiful frame. So I'm just going to try and get all of the pieces out. Sorry, that will have made a lot of noise at home. But all I do is tie this up again evenly on all four corners pop it in and we'll run that through our machine so again just running that through my a4 machine and i'm going to grab a little bit of black card and i'm just going to fold a piece of black card in half to make something very quick and simple and when this comes out you'll see you'll get a beautiful really fine frame and it always makes me think almost of Art Deco or Art Nouveau, this one. So it would work beautifully with some of your Art Deco, sort of ladies and gentlemen, some of your decoupage pieces. So you just want to carefully peel this out. And it will come out in one piece as a frame. And get these bits, there we go. And you can see here how that beautifully fits and again you could put some beautiful art deco or a sentiment in there so two different ideas using the grapevine die set from john next door for more hints tips and inspiration and galleries full of projects made with these please have a look on facebook and visit us on the crafting with john next door and crafts 2 group mm -hmm.